Hey there, how are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Actually, I have something for you. It's a handwritten note for me, plus a little sweet treat. Here, take it. It's nothing big, but hopefully it will brighten your day today. All right, I better get going, but keep watching this vlog because we're going to be spreading some joy and kindness to the people of Amsterdam City. Will you join us? Let's go. Are you excited? <laughs> Everybody has their own story to tell. From people you see in the streets, to workers, and even those you don't see behind these walls. Oftentimes you don't really realize the struggles, heartaches, and the burning desires of the people we pass by each day. But what if we could give them a little acknowledgement? Perhaps a random act of kindness? Will that be enough to brighten someone's day? I stumbled upon this amazing volunteer movement where their mantra is showing kindness in practical ways to people in need. With everyone trying to cope up with these trying times, it was nice to get involved with the community and lend a bit of a helping hand. So Server the City is an international organization that yeah, shows kindness. With these small projects, we would like to meet volunteers, especially here in Amsterdam. We want to show the volunteers how nice it is to learn more about the city, to learn about your neighborhood, to meet new people. And it's also really nice for who is receiving the help because we actually think that it's an exchange. Both volunteers and the, the places and locations, they, people they meet, uh, it's a good, good positive exchange for both of them. We started our experience in Zoku Hotel, where the volunteers and I picked up the nicely packed cakes and wrote some nice messages on the cards. We were assigned locations to drop them off. Some of them were in health institutions, nursing homes, or refugee centers. I accompanied the lovely couple Ben and Jackie to help deliver the cakes. Hey guys, we are delivering our first cakes. It's going to be in a nursing home um, in partnership with Red Cross. So we have our cakes going to be delivered. Really excited to be brightening someone else's day today. It is Leger des Hells. Um, and there are people here with an addiction and also uh, they are homeless. We brought you cheesecake today. Very nice, yes. Next up, I met with a couple of girls writing away messages and cards and filling them with sweets. Central Station and we are giving the cards to the public transport workers or the cleaning people in the shops and we thank them and appreciate them for their hard work mm -hmm. in these hard times. It was lovely to be around people willing to do such an amazing initiative. And it's true, whenever you do something good for others, also makes you feel good about yourself. So I came here to visit the city, to discover it, but also to volunteer. Uh, for me, it's hard to be alone in this corona time. So being in touch with other people makes me happy and I feel useful to others. Our little group made our way to the center of Amsterdam, ready to spread some sweetness. Are you excited? <laughs> Going up to a stranger and giving them something they don't expect at all takes a lot of courage. In fact, we've had our fair share of rejections. The realization here is that not everyone will gladly accept your random act of kindness. But if you know in your heart that you're doing something nice, then there shouldn't be any shame, right? How do you guys feel um, yeah. Oh, yeah, now sure. that you've given it out? Uh -huh. um, I, I don't know, it feels good, <laughs> I guess. Words and action have a lot of power to impact someone's life. All it takes is becoming aware and taking some baby steps 
whether it's saying words of affirmation, giving a smile, lending an ear. These are just some practical ways that we can be kind to one another. And I think we all need that right now, especially at this time. If you like this video or resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to make me smile today, then hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to get updated on some feel-good travel videos and some expat stories from myself living here in the Netherlands. Until then, stay safe guys!